Take Kleenex with you. It's natural. So one of the things we've tried to show in this exhibition, highlighting the Goldshaw's work, is how their experimental work, their personal projects, informed their commercial work. So Morton Goldshaw, when he first started out, he had aspirations to be an artist, but for practical reasons, he ended up going into commercial design. The Goldshaw's worked in the period of early television. They're also working in Chicago, which at the time, in the 1950s, was considered the Hollywood of industrial and educational filmmaking. And so the Goldshalls are really interested in being a part of that particular industry and inspired by that industry. And in part inspired because they wanted to make films that were better and more interesting than what was being churned out by that industry at the time. Their very first film is this exploration of light at night. They're photographing car lights to get this real sensibility of the kind of built environment or the sort of commercial environment that people are moving through. I think there was a lot of experimentation in what they were doing. That translated into capturing viewers' attention. So while audiences may not have been aware that the work was by the gold shells, it kept them riveted to the television set so they'd want to see the ad. And I think that's really, that also had an effect in the industry and people became aware that when they worked with gold shells, they would get something that was innovative and fresh and would capture people's attention. So I think that's where their impact lies. The gold shells work with companies like Kimberly Clark, they work with Motorola, they work with Vienna Beef. And these were really important clients to them and I think they did quite a bit for the brands for all three of these companies. For Motorola, they designed the logo that is still in use today. Martin Cena was a very early client for Morton Goldshaw and a really important client for him. The way that we buy paint today is was developed and kind of designed by the Goldshaws. They thought of putting color at the end of a swatch so that you could match it to fabric, you could match it to other wall colors. They took the aesthetic of the Bauhaus, which of course had international importance, but had a strong base right here in Chicago, and brought it into the American living room by taking those ideas and bringing them into advertising at a time in the United States when Chicago was on the rise as one of the great capitals of new consumer culture. The fact that the Goldshalls were interested in art and different kinds of avant-garde movements this informed their practice as commercial designers. So there's actually a great fluidity between what they're doing as professional commercial designers and their work as artists.